What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play Quantum Conundrum. In the last episode we learned a little bit about Heavy Dimension, got introduced to that, and in this episode it looks like we have these blue lasers which I have no, no idea what they do. That if you disrupt the blue beam, it should deactivate something. Okay, so my guess is that the blue beam are energy beams. Sweet, so that'll open that door. And if we put something in front of it to obstruct it, it looks like it will deactivate stuff. Like those lasers, cool. So they're basically like the lasers, how they work in Portal 2. Awesome. And thank you, Ike. Now we should have access to Fluffy Dimension. And let's figure out what the heck this does. Oh, hey, look, that'll give us access to Heavy Dimension. Sweet. Awesome. Cool. And, whoa, okay. Um, awesome. Almost got freaking killed to death by safes. Tell wow, like this unit needs a little. Yeah, it almost just crushed me with safes. I would say it needs a little bit. It needs a little bit of work. Um, okay, so I need to turn that laser off so I can get through here, presumably. So come here and put you there. Thankfully, the fans don't blow away the safes because that would make my life a lot more difficult. And you, you are going to be the death of me in this let's play. I can already tell. Um, yes, we'll just put you here. And heavy dimension so it doesn't blow away, and now we can get through here. Sweet. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. Haha. <laughs> I got you. He looks like an evil wombat. keep wanting to take it down, but he won't let me. Did you just growl at the painting? I don't know how I feel about Ike. He kind he kinda just scares me a little bit. Oh, and apparently I've missed a few blueprints. But I really don't know what they look like, so I, I'm not sure how to find them. Like, the awkward noise machines, I know what they look like, so now I'm kind of like keeping my eye open for them, but this I have no totally idea what the blueprint tubes look like. That, combined with the fact that I have no clue how I was transported here, is certainly puzzling. So yeah, like... It's mostly dark. <laughs> well, maybe not dark. Sort of twilight. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to look for secrets, but if I don't know what they look like, I can't really look for them specifically. So hopefully we'll see one soon. Is this real life or is it just fan- Stop making puns, oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, um, looks like we have Desmond over here. Come here, little I'm buddy. I'm fairly certain Desmond there will come in rather handy. He probably will, and let's see what we get from this dolly unit. A nice old box for us. Alright, so what does Desmond do? Desmond activates this laser. And let me guess, if I deactivate this, it opens the door. Okay, so I think I got the idea already. Let's just run th Oh, crap, I need to let go of the box first. That would help. Dur -dur -dur. And let's go. Okay, that was actually really easy. I kind of wanted that one to be a little bit hard. Oh, it's a two-part puzzle. Okay, we're not done just yet. What do we have going on here? Okay. Give me some safes, please. And let me guess. Since I don't have access to heavy dimension, I'm going to guess that all I need to do is build myself another staircase. Sweet, I'm perfectly fine with that. I actually enjoyed that, like, the first time we did it. That was a really cool, uh, mechanic. So I'm glad they're going to use it more than that one time. That's good. I like it when games use, or reuse, uh, good core mechanics. And I'm probably going to need all four of these safes. I have a feeling there's going to be something up there. So rather than waste time, I'm going to bring you with me. What's over there, though, I wonder? Because I could totally get up there, actually, couldn't I? Oh, I could make, like, a whole platform across. All right, if, I'm going to look if there's anything up there, see if I can see anything. And then if there is, I may go out of my way to get over there because I kind of expect a secret to be over there. All right, let's see if I can't actually see anything. Um... It doesn't look like there's anything over there, though. And I'm just kind of glitching out on something. Yeah, I don't see anything um, new over there, so I guess not. That would have been the place to put a secret, though, because I could have could have easily gotten... Oh, actually, no, maybe I couldn't have. No, I could have easily have moved the safes over there, I think. All right, what have we got going on? Oh, there's an awkward noise machine over there, so I can definitely get to that one. Oh, and look at that heavy dimension sweet. Oh, I guess that's me, too, so maybe I'm a little older than seven. <laughs> Alright, so what do we have going on over here? Moving lasers. Alright, so I already got the gist of things. We need to move this chair and use him as a portable shield via the heavy dimension so we don't actually, like, kill ourselves. I got it. 
seems easy enough, and I'm just gonna make my way over here so I can grab this noise machine. It looks so cozy over there. Well, now it's mine. I don't, I don't even know what these things are gonna do later on in the game, actually. So hopefully, collecting them has a purpose. Maybe it unlocks like different levels or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, all right, what do we have going on over here? Give me the dolly. I find the number three to be a very satisfying number. It's a Heatner number, and the proper amount of scoops on an ice cream cone. Whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. Okay, so... Lasers. What do we have? What happens if I turn this off? Okay, those lasers turn off. Um... I can't stack these, can I? Actually, can I? Uh, no, because if I turn fluffy, that's gonna fly away now. So I can't stack them. Um... Unless... No, because then they'll... No, because then they'll disintegrate. So I can't do that either. I was gonna, like sort of stack them up against the back wall and then upwards, but that really wouldn't work because the fluffy ones get destroyed by the laser. Um, oh, wait, hang on. That's not what I wanted to happen, but hang on. This might actually work. Let me see if I can stack them up, like, across or out from the wall. That might actually work. <laughs> I, this is kind of crazy if this is going to work. And I think it's going to because I didn't actually try stacking them on top of each other before, so that's... Yeah, that's kind of interesting. So, okay, cool. You can sort of, like, make vertical platforms that way. I can see that being used. Awesome. Well, I could have done it better myself. Not bad, though. Hey, you know what? I, I highly doubt you could have done it. Maybe you could have lined the boxes up better, but I did that pretty well, if I do say so myself. All right, coming through here, let's see what else we have going on here. Looks like you the ice remember ray. remember some of my past inventions from previous trips. This is my ice gun. Freezy Ray Vaughn. Yeah, apparently if you look at the uh, the pictures, it triggers like extra dialogue. Someone pointed out in the comments, like if you looked at all the pictures of the cats in the last episode, it triggered extra dialogue, and I didn't actually know that, so I'll be sure to sort of, I guess, um, look at the pictures to see if there's any funny dialogue, because the, the dialogue in this game is actually pretty funny, if I do say so myself, but um, what are you doing, Ike? Am I going to need that? Can I take that from you? No, I don't believe I can. So, what does this do? Oh, that's gonna give me a heavy dimension capsule. Sweet! This is a compression platform which uses photoelectric energy to function. Like a spring, the energy pulses below the platform excite the molecules in the air, stimulating an elastic structural rigidity. Okay, so basically this is a giant spring, or a scientific- Ooh, okay, there's a capsule up there. Oh, and a noise machine. Alright, how am I gonna get this? Um... Oh, wait, I think I got this. Hang on. Yes, there we go. Clever. I'm liking this game so much, man. Ah, oh, it's so good. Can I ride this to the top, maybe, to get that noise machine? Oh, I can't stand on these, can I? Okay, no, I cannot stand on the actual boxes. Um, there is a safe over there, though, so... No, that activates this door. So the only way through here, then, I guess, would be to break the window. I hate it when things get broken my things. Hey, you know what? We're all gonna have to make sacrifices for the greater good here. It's for science. We need to get things done, and why does this exist? <laughs> why would you need one of these to get out here when you just broke the window? Unless you're not supposed to break the window, but that's the only way to get through there. I don't know. Maybe that... Why? Yeah, why is that there? It doesn't make sense to me. Alright, whatever. Um, I do want to get that noise machine, so put this here. And I can jump on these safes, and... Gimme! Yay! Put that. Sweet. And then I guess I just put this here. And, oh, where's my, uh... I need this. There we go. Careful. It's death below me, isn't it? Crap. Okay, um... Throw heavy. Sweet. There we go. Yeah, that's death below me. I'm, I'm not gonna deal with that. Jump! Alright, cool, we made that. And what do we have going on here? Okay, so these are springs that are just gonna, like, launch you at an angle. How do these work, then? If I put this on here... Okay, so it kind of just sticks there. Good, okay, so it doesn't fly off like I thought it would. Um, I guess let's just go, right? And I don't see any secrets up there. I can't, like, where are the secrets in this game? Because I expected there to be a lot, but I really don't see any. And, like, if, of all the places, you would think they would have put... Actually, hang on, can I climb up here? I have a feeling I can get up here, and that there's going to be a secret up here. So, come here, Boxy. Um, 
Oh, dang it, maybe not. Can't, maybe I can't get up here. Actually, no, hang on. I could totally get up here. No, 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 no. I don't know why I was jumping at an angle. Some of the uh, the jumping things are a little bit awkward in here, but they did they did have like a patch like a few hours after I finished recording episode two that seems to have added a few extra features to the game. Like um, in the video options menu, you get a few different um, customization options to make gameplay a little bit better for older computers, but. I haven't noticed anything else. Maybe the fact that when you're switching rooms and loading now time is a little bit slower, but other than that, not much else. Pit filled with keys. Oh, this one has sunglasses. Oh, I like these. Mine now, I suppose. You are in some sort of crazy dimension, sir. I don't know what's going on with you. Actually, let's stare at the cat poster. Hang on. I guess we don't get any dialogue for that. Oh, well. It was worth a shot, at least. Mind the gap. And I have access to Heavy and Fluffy. Sweet. Alright, so what are you going to give me? A safe. That figures. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's see what we got. Alright, a spring. Cool. Just remember, you need enough change in the mass to build up enough mechanical energy. Okay, so... Apparently I can maybe do this multiple times and get a Think higher of this jump. highly complex piece of technology as a trampoline. A double bounce could help. Yeah, except how do I actually execute double bounce? Because... Oh, there we go. No, no, no. Okay, get on there. Now, I need to get you up here, don't I? Yes. Yes, I do. Um... Okay, hang on. Let's break the glass. There we go. And I can put this here, but I need another one, so probably not done yet. Yes, because I need to get over here by using this it's spring. It's time to spring into action. <laughs> You're so funny, dude. <laughs> Myself up. All right. Oh, hey, look, an awkward noise machine. All right, so let's see if I can actually get this machine. Come here. Yes. That was really lenient because uh, that was really slow on my part, but I got it anyways. Alright, so I need to get at least two of these safes over there, so let me put you here. I'm so glad that these things stick onto these platforms, because <laughs> if they didn't and just slid right off, it would make my life a living nightmare, but thankfully that's not the case. And let's get over satisfying, there. Isn't it? it is satisfying. I do quite enjoy it, thankfully. And get in there. Oh yeah, look at me, landing on the right thing and whatnot. Awesome. Alright, let's see. Looks like we got his jetpack over here. This is one of my past inventions, Joan the Jetpack. Worked just fine, except I had some serious trouble with the hover-up feature. That, that, Somewhat that seems flammable. like... Some might say incendiary. <laughs> that seems like a, like a few major problems, actually. You should probably have fixed those. You probably never saw this invention. It was my hole digger. Hole digger, awesome. We called it... Every day I'm shoveling. <laughs> Every day I'm efficient. shoveling. <laughs> this was the first I can't believe they just I made saw. that reference. Oh my god, I love this game. I freaking love this game so much right now. <laughs> Alright, but I think this is actually a good place to end it off. So, let's just go through here and we'll call it an episode at Around the World. Once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.